yeah it was great uh, i just joined uh, one week before so uh, i uh, like uh, there was an onboarding like uh, uh, going on previously uh, in maybe in january i did uh, like attend a fang company but mm-hmm. i got rejected in uh, like uh, fourth round or something so uh, i was like uh, interested to learn more actually i i thought like my preparation was not good enough to be qualified and to be like to join that company so i thought of learning more yeah. so that was like uh, i thought like i could take a look into it then i can uh, like uh, i go uh, i went to the website then i like uh, attended a master uh, like one of the master class so uh, like uh, i was like i can rate myself as a 5 by 10 so uh, like uh, i was like i can rate myself as a 5 by 10 so it's like a uh, addicting to videos like just we addict to netflix or uh, prime or any kind of series movie Hi everyone welcome back to our channel um this is another success story that we are coming up with it is about a student of programming parshala who got placed at zeta and we will be hearing his story of success and his hard work and his road way that took him to that place in the organization where he could become a successful software development engineer with the help of our course renaissance and let's hear it from him okay Hi Pawan. So for starting, let's start with a bit of introduction about yourself. Uh, hi Nisha. Uh, so uh, coming to my introduction, so uh, I went to a NET CJ for my graduation. I did my bachelor's there, and I'm from Hyderabad. Uh, so previously I worked in a company of them. So I was working as a software engineer. So as I'm 2020 graduate, I had 1.5 years of experience in of them. Then I uh, like. Uh, got to join zeta uh, which is a fintech so i joined as an sd1 there uh, so my interest like uh, lies in the programming and the web development side so i was a web developer i did some projects around there uh, so yeah uh, that's all about great so you have joined your new organization zeta how are yeah. you feeling it there how is the environment yeah it was great uh, i just joined uh, one week before so uh, i uh, like uh, there was onboarding like uh, uh, going on hoping everything would be really great yeah pavan how did you get to know about programming pathshala initially yeah so actually like when i was uh, starting to learn uh, data structures and algorithms so i had a bit of knowledge about data structures and algorithms uh, previously uh, in maybe in january i did uh, like attend a fang company but mm-hmm. i got rejected in uh, like uh, fourth round or something so uh, i was like uh, interested to learn more actually i i thought like my preparation was not good enough to be qualified and to be like to join that company so i thought of learning more so yeah. i think uh, i thought like i couldn't uh, prepare on my own so i need some kind of medium where i can uh, uh, that can help me like to grasp the things quickly to learn the things to solve the things someone can mentor me so those are the kind of requirements i was just thinking of So that's programming parashala so okay. the he suggested me initially that i didn't know programming parashala before so he suggested me that uh, like it offers like they offer like they are just startup and they are offering very good uh, like uh, concepts or the videos or the lectures the mentorship but at a very low price affordable price yeah. so that was like uh, i thought like i could take a look into it then i can uh, like uh, i go uh, i went to the website then i like uh, attended a master uh, like one of the master class so which was taken by vivek bhaiya so yeah. it was really great actually i like i learned a, uh, like uh, i learned a lot in one hour so i thought like uh, the journey would like could be amazing with the program parashala uh, uh, anup bhaiya got in contact with anup bhaiya and anup bhaiya suggested that take one week of uh, like uh, there is a free trial uh, yeah so one week of trial session you can take it you can explore one, like uh, a section of the videos where if you find uh, if, you, if you like it like you can join any time so then i uh, started uh, with the uh, like uh, one week trial session it was right like, really amazing yeah. uh, like i thought like I, i knew the concepts i knew the things but when i saw those videos they are really like refreshing they were like really good right. so then uh, like uh, i contacted anubhai and said like i mean 
So it was like uh, self uh, thinking about it. So Anub, uh, like Anub Bhai said, just trust us. Yeah. You are gonna be fine. So that's what like the word he said. I could still remember it. So I, then I started my journey. It was really wonderful from then. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing, Pavan. So how were your problem solving skills before joining us? And you know, did they change mm-hmm. after you yeah. joined Renaso? Okay. So before joining Programming Badashala, I did like. A, Uh, 100 questions on lead code mm-hmm. i mean like uh, i was i'm from an it is just so i had like little programming background in there so a, a little coding club so i was just well uh, aware of the things but i'm not actually mm-hmm. experienced or uh, uh, did some great in there so okay. uh, like uh, i was like i can rate myself as a 5 by 10 uh, okay. i was able to solve easy problems i was mm-hmm. able to try medium level problems but sometimes if we like uh, the idea of problem solving was not good enough uh, like uh, when i was trying to solve a problem i used to like uh, uh, try uh, like take some other other problems and just uh, view them and then the, uh, then try to this solve this problem. it was not really great i was not uh, well like uh, following the concepts and not doing well uh, yeah so then it got improved with programming but that's really, that's really nice that's really nice and um, how did you feel about the course renaissance here like was it difficult for you in the beginning or you know were you able to cope up and everything so uh, the renaissance course i took a six months course so mm-hmm. in the six months like it was really hard uh, i mean like not the courses but the time allocation Yeah. So because like as I'm a working individual, my working uh, uh, time is also like eleven to eight thirty. Mm-hmm. So it was like uh, really difficult to space like the time for me because mm-hmm. like it was like uh, morning I did, did uh, like couldn't get much time and the evening also I couldn't get much time. It was like uh, not really good time. You right. can say that. So uh, like but when I started watching the videos, they are really awesome. So it's like a uh, addicting to videos like. just we addict to netflix or uh, prime or any kind of series movies so it, it like it was like a addiction whenever i saw one video then a follow up used to come in so then i like uh, thought like let's spare some more time and see the follow up so it's like uh, i used to like i can remember like i used to sit till 2 2 o'clock sometimes just right. watching the videos solving the problems so it was uh, i could say it was fantastic both uh, vivek bhai and uh, Uh, Bharat Bhai, I like did a really great job in those recordings. I guess more than you got addicted to the videos, or you got more addicted to your success, is what we can say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When when I like uh, failed during the, my first attempt to a fan company, that really pushed me to do something good. Uh, so it got like uh, it, it it told me that I'm before uh, in being interviewed at the fan company, I was. thinking like i couldn't even join fan so i was uh, thinking like only smart coders or the good coders who has like a coding background great coding mm-hmm. background can only join in but after i attended it i feel that i am there mm-hmm. i'm like a uh, uh, like a uh, like i i passed two or three rounds so i feel like a little more uh, like learning and the concepts so could help me pass like could do that one or two steps and could get me into the job so that's what my like the thought process is so and that motivated me that i i can do it so that's what so how has been your interview and your resume preparation while you cracked the interview yeah. of zeta so how were okay. those preparations uh, so this is a 6 months course hmm. so uh, like i did 4 months uh, like 4 uh, months i was just watching videos i'm not applying any company so i uh, like actually like every week we used to have like uh, uh our class like with a uh, uh, anup bhai or bharat bhai or vivek bhai so like that class was sometimes like used to be like uh, some topics or some like uh, resume like how to prepare a resume or how like object oriented program so they used to discuss about something just a interaction with all of them one of the candidate who was well deserved but he was not done total preparation and he attempted amazon and he rejected it he can't apply like uh, for the next 6 months Yes, exactly. So that's what like uh, I thought like uh, six months is really like uh, like if I am really going wanted to get into that company or okay. any company they have like a cooling period of six months right. If I attempt it like they it doesn't gonna like uh, help me out. So mm-hmm. I thought like I could well prepared and then attempt it even if it takes one or two months 
so it doesn't really matter so that's what it is like i took four months of the time to finish i think 80 percent to 90 percent of the courses then after four months even uh, like these uh in these four months there are many sessions of resume preparation or like a interview like a, how the interview process gonna be so there was many discussions going on i was just making some notes or making some uh topic by Vivek by i used to send three or four times my resume <laughs> they used to like suggest me something so it the process went for one, uh, one week then i started applying companies like uh they, uh, another thing is like programming padashala has a wonderful thing like a reference so they they feel like they assess the candidates and they feel like if they are worth it they always been there for to refer us so yeah. it was always really great and parallelly like we also used to like apply to the companies for the referrals so that process went on and uh, uh, i got a referral through which i got into ziva yeah that's amazing that's amazing for one we are really happy for you and you yeah. know during this long journey that you had with us uh, what kept you motivated throughout that you never gave up because you know there are so many yeah, students yeah. who do give up in middle they're like ab nahi hota yeah. yaar we can't do it anymore <laughs> so yeah. i really felt that at, uh, at many points of time uh, and uh, like uh, i don't say that i am really doing great or something like that because like uh, before uh, like before i failed in a fang for fang interview so i prepared like one or two months whenever mm-hmm. i got some free time whenever there was like uh, most of the time uh, like whenever i have some freedom so i used to prepare like it already took one or two months from for the preparation and then i had to like go uh, i had to, in program parts i had to start from scratch because they wanted to like make the person like more conceptual knowledge to like bring him like uh, from the depth so they they started from the scratch so like uh, it was really hard in one not uh, like first one month because like i was learning through the concepts i was not going to the hard problems mm-hmm. i usually had that concept like uh, only solving hard problems will help me get into bigger companies or doing yes. something but program professional had a different approach like starting with the concepts yes. basic concepts will help a candidate to grow like a uh, to solve by himself so those kind of things are always there but sometimes you couldn't get those uh, thought process or like approach many because of many conditions stress or something else like thinking around something so <laughs> i had many points of time where i felt like i i like uh, like taking some break or something but uh, whatever i like because like uh, in that mean process there are many students getting placed mm. so many success stories being uh, heard yeah. so uh, that motivated us like really like um, me and, and other persons yeah. also like it motivated uh, us like uh, I, we can do it yeah so That's it must have been like if their success story is being published they are yeah. being given a chance yeah, yeah. yeah i always thought like i could also see my success story one day so it has been amazing having a word with you harsh thank you so much for giving me your time before leaving any parting words for programming patshala and our budding software development engineers like what would you advise them today to reach your level uh i would advise like they, if they are joining programming patshala just uh, like uh, follow the course because like uh, whenever you stuck in a problem or like you are like uh, being like uh, feeling like i should quit anup bhai or bharat bhai or like vivek bhai will always be there for you to assist and guide so you shouldn't feel like they're like uh, quitting or something you should uh, follow the course do at least 80% of the course i feel that would be more than enough to crack uh, bigger companies you can never imagine so that's what i can uh, advise them just uh, like uh, uh, what we can say just trust them just go through yeah that's, that's nice we are so happy congratulations to you once again thank, thank you so you much for giving me your time it has been amazing having a word with you